Okay, so I don't know how much you'll be able to see because I'm having to film like this. <laughs> but what you're going to do is you're going to put your hand between her ear like this. I'm, I just do this to control her ears, but you're not actually going to pick her up. Sorry, I had a text message come across from you that said nipple and it caught my attention. But yeah, so have the rabbit sitting next to you and you're going to put your hand between her ears like this. It's just your, your second finger from, or your finger next to your thumb. And the only reason I like to do this is it kind of gives you control of the ears. But you're not going to actually pick them up by the ears. You're just keeping them out of the way. You're actually going to gather up some of that loose skin right behind the ears. Kind of like a cat with her kittens. And before you pick her up, put your other hand behind their butt. And put your fingers down in between their legs up inside the pelvis. And as you pick up on their neck, you're actually just going to lift with their butt. Lift their butt with your other hand and you can put them over on their backs like this. And then you just take your other hand and you cradle them and then you have this hand free. And as you can see, she's just laying there. And then when you wanna flip her back over, just kind of hold her like this. And you can see, you know, she'll just, she'll just lay there. You just have to practice with it. Don't let them get their bluff in on you because then they'll be little snots and they'll never wanna flip for you. But yeah, that's the easiest way to do it. So yeah, I just, and sometimes you don't even have to do the whole neck thing. They're so little at this age. You can actually just put your hand underneath them like this and kind of lift them up. And once again, you can just cradle them in your arms. So kind of like that. So I hope you were able to see this and I hope it helps you.